Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic Bounty Hunter Edition. And we, of course, were told by Hunt Master Assistant Lek to return to Drummond Cast, which is actually quite a... Should we say not an not a usual occurrence, and so I'm a little bit dubious about this. Maybe he's been turned by Tarot Blood himself, but we're going to find out as we head on past Krista here. I'm actually unsure whether she's going to talk to us. No, she's not going to talk to us. Okay, yeah, it's just a silent treatment once again. And so there is the Huntmaster. He's all by himself, but there are a couple of guards here. I'm a little bit worried. Hunter, we don't have a lot of time, so I'll be brief. The sanctity of the Great Hunt has been compromised. Seems a slicer got a hold of the Great Hunt's target list, and intends to auction those names to the highest bidders. Exposure like that would destroy the Great Hunt. I need this dealt with quickly and discreetly. When's this auction taking place? Our informant seems to think it'll be soon. I need you to find the slicer and learn how he got that list. Once the list is secure, eliminate every scrag stupid enough to show up to that auction. Compared to my other jobs, this'll be nothing. Good to hear. We can't afford any mistakes. Nemro the Hutt's paymaster, Judah, told us about the auction. She's on Hutta. She can tell you more. The fate of the Great Hunt rests in your hands. Remember that. Okay. So, yeah, one thing. One thing before we actually get going. This could not have been said on the Hollow Terminal. I, I mean, it's kind of secure, no? Isn't it? Isn't it quite the secure way of speak uh, well i suppose the only good thing that we did get out of this is that i was able to train so i did gain speed of piloting rank two and a bunch of other things that were going to help us out a uh, passive that actually allows us to ignore 30 percent armor so that is actually pretty good wait where where is that passive i'd actually like to show you so that you can actually see i think it's this one i think it was advanced targeting Unload, Blazing Bolts, Rail Shot, and Mag Shot ignore 30% of the target's armor. In addition, the critical chance of Rapid Scan and Emergency scan, scan are increased by 5%. And critical results with damage and healing abilities increase critical damage and healing by 10% for 6 seconds. Which i got to say is actually pretty nice. So, yeah, I'm kind of happy with that. But, of course, uh, having to go all the way to Hutter now is really quite amusingly bad, I would say. Because, I mean, yes, we could have easily just spoken... I mean, I don't know what the Huntmaster is all about, but I suppose he really just wanted to make sure that security was top-notch. Also, the fact that the developers do like to somewhat give you the runaround every now and again. Alright, so we've arrived in the cantina in Nemro's Palace, a very familiar sight, is it not? And we're now going to head in and speak with Judah. Hopefully she's going to not tell us to go somewhere else on our ship. Chris has said you'd be coming by. I was so relieved to hear the Mandalorians weren't sending a stranger. Before I tell you what I know about this auction, I need to ask for a favor. There are bound to be some really nasty people at this auction, so please keep my name out of this. I don't want to put my family in jeopardy. Don't worry, I won't be doing a lot of talking. Thank you. My family means everything to me. I discovered the auction through one of Nemro's business associates. We were settling an account, and he asked if Nemro would be participating. I pretended I knew what he was talking about. That's how I learned about the slicer and the list. Is this someone you're familiar with, or was he a new face? I know almost nothing about the slicer, just that it all sounds legitimate. The auction's taking place here in Jakuna. The slicer left these details for Nemro. I hope they help. It should have already started. Please let me know how it goes. I won't be able to sleep otherwise. Oh yeah, I'll definitely let you know because you were the one that used to pay me, so well, yeah, definitely. Sure, why not? Good favors inspire profit elsewhere, I suppose. Well, whatever the case, we do want to head on to the uh, uh, Nemro's Bazaar, or should we go to the Evakai Work Camp? See, this is the thing. We need to go here, so I would assume... Oh, wow, well, the Evakai work camp seems to be a little bit closer, but uh, I just don't know. Usually, Nemro's Bazaar is the best place to go, but I'm going to take a gamble here and think that maybe this is a little bit closer. So let's just see whether that is indeed the case. So where are we going? Okay, we're going this way. So as I said, I usually take the other place, so I'm not exactly knowing where I'm going. Otherwise, I would usually be able to just do it without using the map at all. 
So, yes. Oh, we have to go all the way around here. Okay, well, I guess I'll see you when we arrive at the auction site. Okay, so we've arrived at the auction site. Doesn't look like a Sotheby's or Weatherby's or Spoonerby's or... Uh, you know what I mean. One of those auction houses. You know, one of those regular auction houses that sell millions of dollars and pounds and... Yes, all that stuff. But it doesn't look like that, does it? No, it's actually a private auction, so I suppose it's going to be held in Gary's garage, isn't it? I mean, out the back of the regular food chain marketplace place. Yes, I have no idea what I'm talking about, but it's usually one of those sort of back alley shady jobs, isn't it? Okay, well, no doubt they're going to be selling some junk, but they're also selling something very, very important to us. And who is that? Okay, no one in particular. Razak. Okay, apparently we're going to be doing battle with him. You ain't listening. I don't want the whole list. I just want to know if my name's on it. An excellent point. What if we're only interested in certain names? I'm sure we could come to some arrangement. That's what this auction is all about. How about I just bleed you nice and slow, and then take the list from your cold, dead hand? Looks like you're in way over your head. Hey, chuff sucker, sit down and shut it or you're dead. Look, everybody calm down. This list is encrypted. I die and nobody gets it. I say we kill this worm and get another slicer to crack the pad. Suits us fine. No! <laughs> oh, okay, so that guy was very, very happy to see us. Well, technically not. But, wow, Razak really died very, very quickly. I'm actually kind of surprised that sometimes in Star Wars they decide to just give the actual speaking characters the least HP. And then you're just like, okay, well, he, he's dead. Or you start off the fight and you're like, oh, yeah, come on, let's do this. And then one ability later and he's just lying on the floor, regretting every decision he's ever made. That's basically how it goes. But let's hope we don't regret this decision by speaking to Billikin Drell. Wow, that's a very, very weird name, isn't it? But I suppose it is Star Wars, so there are a lot of those. Start talking. How'd you get this list? Some guy said he was a Mandalorian. He got me the codes to break in. Said I could sell the names and make a fortune. I want a name. I never met the guy. I got contacted via Holo. He kept his face hidden and disguised his voice. He said targets assigned to Tarot Blood were off limits. Maybe he has money on this blood guy winning. Or Tarot Blood gave this slicer the list. We have to expect Taro to pull some stunts like this. That man has lived way longer than he has any right to. That'll help you find him, right? I've told you everything I know. Please, just let me go. I'll never talk about that list again. I swear. Who else knows the contents of this list? Nimrod's paymaster, Judah. H help me arrange the auction. She has another copy. I agreed to split the profits with her 50-50. In fact, with everyone here dead, Judah's the only one left who knows about the list. Please, let me go. Afraid I can't do that. Yeah, them's the breaks. Them's the breaks. Unfortunately, had to end his... Well, I, I, I don't know why I'm saying unfortunately. He was attempting to sell a very top secret document, so I suppose I can't really say unfortunately there. I'm, I'm, I'm actually fine with eliminating him. So... Yeah, we're just going to head back to Judah, and I actually thought she was kind of okay, but apparently she's also in on it. So apparently we're going to have to deal with her too, but not before we have completed this bonus mission. I know, bonus missions, not particularly my forte, not particularly happy with doing them usually, but I don't really mind about doing this one, because it kind of seems fun, because we're scaled down so low. We are scaled down to level 12, and all of these are level 12, so it's kind of fun to actually see how much damage we're able to... Oh, look at those heat seekers! Ooh, fantastic. I really love the smoke trails that they have, and I really wish I could use the heat seeker missile ability a lot more, but unfortunately, yeah, it's way too powerful to be able to use it that much, so I'm just going to try and use it as much as possible. Look at them! Look at them! Ah, yeah, that is amazing. Very cool. I love using the sort of more advanced ability, shall we say. Okay, so we've completed that, and all we need to do is head back to the Poison Pit Cantina, and then head on to Judah's location.
Okay, so we're back in Nemro's palace, and it is now time to speak to Judah, and I'm just thinking to myself, what are we going to do? Are we going to okay. just tell her off and give her a slap on the wrist and then tell her to get out of there? Or are we just going to forgive her completely because she has a starving family or something along those lines? Or are we going to be brutal and kill her if we get that option? I actually have no idea what we're going to be getting, but let's find out. It's just like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Especially with the conversations in Star Wars. You're back. Huh, I was getting worried. Was everything taken care of? I know what you did. Let's make this quick and easy. It's not what you think, I swear. I'm the one who called the Mandalorians, remember? I didn't know about the Great Hunt list. All I knew was that Billiken had some valuable information and needed help finding buyers. He gave me a taste! He told me we'd split the profits! I didn't learn what the list was till later. I can see why you tried to hide your role in this mess. That's a real ugly surprise. You did the right thing, though. Thank you both for understanding. Here, this is the only other copy of the list that I know of. And unless you left anyone alive in that auction, no one else knows about it. Just please keep my name out of this. I tried to make it right. You want me to lie to the Mandalorians? I want whatever credits Billiken gave you. But... Uh, fine. I guess I should be happy to get out of this one alive. Good luck in the Great Hunt. You've certainly got the ruthlessness for it. Ooh, that's, that's, ooh, that's leaving quite the sour taste in our mouth, isn't it? I mean, really. Ah, uh, well, I, I was just going for the credits. I was just going for the credits because even though she did call the Mandalorians, I feel like, I don't know, taking the money to begin with was okay, but then she learned what it was, so I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we, we should have allowed her to keep the credits, but I, I don't know. I mean, we could have killed her. There was an opportunity to do that, so I guess... If we were a little bit more ruthless, then we could have just ended her life. But I don't know. I, I feel like taking the middle middle road there was definitely the way to go. So let's use our ship to return to Drummond Kars once again. Ah, Drummond Kars, Drummond Kars, really. You are the absolute bane of everyone. Well, technically Coruscant and Drummond Kars are the bane of everyone's existence because every time they're like, you've got to go here and then you've got to go there and then you've got to come back here because... That's just how it goes. That's just how we roll, isn't it? I mean, ah. Okay. Well, let's see if there's a holo terminal call. I don't think there will be. No, there isn't going to be. So, we're just going to be cutting away once again, and I'll see you when we are in the Mandalorian Enclave. Okay, so we're back in the Mondal Mon Mon? Yes. We're back we're back Mon in the Mandalorian Enclave Mon. Yeah. Okay, so that was completely very, very bad and I apologize. <laughs> I very much apologize. But there, there, you know what's funny? There's actually someone that is the announcer on one of, one of our TV channels over here. Sounds exactly like that, and it's 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 just it, it is very amusing. Not because of not because of the accent so much, but because it's quite unusual for us to actually hear something like that around here. But anyway, point is, let's go and talk to this person, Mon. Yes, shall we? <laughs> Huntmaster Assistant Lek. It's good to see you again. Glad to see you in one piece, Hunter. Is that auction dead and buried? What auction? I don't know of any auction. That's what I want to hear. Seems the Huntmaster was right about you. Talk to me. This was more than a grab and shoot. Did you find out how that Slicer got the list? The Slicer said it was one of your people. A Mandalorian? That is disturbing. But with no name, there's nothing we can do but keep alert. We've got the target list back. That'll have to do for now. Thanks for taking care of this, Hunter. It was good doing business with you. Your targets on Tatooine and Alderaan ain't gonna kill themselves. Go get them, pronto! Alright, so, okay, I'm gonna explain a little bit why I decided not to say Taro Blood's name, mainly because you, you can kind of assume that something kind of fishy is going on, and he does have a very good reputation in the Mandalorian arenas, so I was kind of playing it on the safe side so that we're not like, oh, must kill Taro Blood, me smash, etc. Yeah, we, so I wasn't trying to do that, but 
I was kind of trying to say, hey, it's a Mandalorian. You may want to watch out for potential Mandalorian sneakiness, even though they technically aren't even really known for that, as far as I'm aware. I mean, they're, they're quite warrior-like, aren't they? And they're quite honor-bound as well. So it's, it's really quite surprising to see someone like Tara Blood among their ranks. But anyway, I am going to be ending this episode off here. Next time, as you can probably tell, we have Tatooine, one of my favorite planets, actually. So that's, that's going to be pretty fun, I feel. And hopefully we won't get swallowed by any huge Sarlacc type things. Yeah, yeah, it's actually a Sar it's actually the Sarlacc. Well, whatever. Rancors and things and Star Wars. Yeah, wonderful. Well, yeah, that's what you're that's what you're watching, isn't it? I mean, okay. Well, anyway, rant over. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.